Hey, what's up guys? It's Sick, and today I'm going to take a real quick video and talk about how I move my tunes around. I get this question a lot. Um, I do have a resource that has uh, six hotkeys um, that I show how I move my groups around, but uh, I'm just going to do a quick video and talk about it. Um, so we'll start here with the my new crew on Rizlona, and uh, then I'll sw swap over to uh, a live crew and uh, kind of show the difference uh, with a couple things there. So this crew I have here, uh, Shadow Knight, Cleric, Enchanter, Monk, Rogue, Shaman. These are all currently running uh, chat with this name class plugins. Obviously the Shaman and Enchanter are not something that are uh, available yet. They're in ver very, 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 very early, very untested, very unready uh, status. But it makes, uh, makes me moving stuff around very, very simple. Um, so I just logged in here, um, sat all my dudes down and fired up the video, but... So everybody's uh, everybody's in mode one. I always go mode one before I camp out, as you can see here. Uh, mode one, I killed a spider uh, when I logged in. But uh, so the shaman standing up is probably casting a, a buff on one of us. Um, it's gonna sit back down. But anyway, <clears throat> so I made these boxes super big here so we can see, uh, and I can talk about the the plugins. But the main ones I usually end up using are these ones down here. Um, so we have the MQ2 target info buttons. Come to me, follow me, mimic me. I use these all the time. I'm going to call my group to me right now. Um, so let's say I logged in and people were spread out a little bit. I just want everybody to come to me and then I'm going to, I'm going to put everybody to doing stuff. Um, so let's say I, uh, now I want to go to where I want to, I want to camp. I want to hunt. I'm going to follow me. Um, so my whole group is now following me and uh, I get where I want. I'm going to turn follow me off and uh, I'm going to sit everybody down. So I turned uh, my camp on button and my camp on button is a little weird. Okay, so I have uh, slash BCG because I use e EQBCS uh, camp here on. This is for any character running uh, Kiss Assist. Uh, my bard runs Kiss Assist, so uh, this will make my bard set a camp net here where I'm at. And this will also cover if I have anybody else in the group that I'm running Kiss Assist on. Uh, they'll just set a camp here. I have a uh, no parse BCGA do command slash me clash short name pause off. This is going to make anybody in the group that's running a chat with this name class plugin issue a pause off command. Okay, now I have this on my camp on button. With the uh, chat with this name class plugins, classes like cleric, um, they will not heal if you are invis, but they will heal if you're invis and you have a camp set. So if you're rolling around in manual mode and you're invis, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to break invis. If you have a camp on, it will. Um, so I have this here just as so if I forgot that I had pause on, um, it's going to set a pause off. I have the entire uh, uh, entire group outside of outside of me, uh, so BCG, so everybody not including me, do a mode one. So they're all in mode one. They're all going to sit down. And then I have a shad mode seven. So that's me and the shadow knight, shad mode seven. So this is the sick tank mode. This is the tank mode that I set a camp where I'm at. but And I'm going to fight anything that comes in it. But uh, as you can see, I can kind of I can walk around and... and and uh, and do my thing here. Um, now, this is just how I set up my camp. I may end up going mode five from here, or mode four, or whatever, or I may stay in mode zero. But this is just so I can set up. If if there was a mob that had aggroed us right now, regardless of what position my group was in, if they were invis, if they were, uh, if uh, my chat with his name dudes were paused. Um, I had a camp set elsewhere because I have this reset camp. They're going to reset a camp right where they're at. I can just quickly hit this button and uh, my tank is going to sick tank and reset my camp to where I'm at right now. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start fighting stuff around. And as it dies, I'm going to retarget new stuff and start fighting. So this is just kind of a, my camp here button is, uh, it does a little bit more than camp here. It, it's basically like camp here and do stuff right now if there's stuff to be done. Uh, Conversely, my camp off button is BCGA return to camp zero. This is the same as the camp here off. Um, I had some alias issues in the past, so I just got in the habit of using return to camp zero instead of camp, uh, camp here off. Um, I do the no parse BCGA do command mode zero for everybody, BCGA. Um, and then I do uh, if my class short name is cleric dismount. Um, I don't use a mount a whole lot anymore on my cleric, so this is kind of... Uh, you know, just in here from wherever. But if I'm camp off, 
that's probably because I'm going to move somewhere. And if I'm moving somewhere, I don't want to be on a mount because mount speed gets screwed up with, uh, you know, barred speed and all that stuff. Um, I also have a chase off here button um, because uh, if I run chase and then do a camp here off, I want I want it to go back to not chasing. All right, and my chase button, I have uh, BCG, so everybody except me do command berserker command mode two. So that's gonna put everybody else into uh, chase mode. And um, if I'm a bard, I'm gonna do chase on. And that's just for my setup, I have my bard uh, running kiss assist at the moment. Um, and sorry about my green screen. I guess the uh, clouds went away and I, I had my lights turned off. Um, okay, so those are my main buttons, right? So I can pretty much do most of the stuff that I do with these buttons, most of the stuff. And for like right now with my lower level crew, this is kind of all I need, right? So I can uh, I can camp on and uh, now I'm ready to go. If something comes in camp, I'm gonna fight it. Uh, camp off uh, and I, you know, I can move my dudes around and they're not gonna run back. If I did a camp on and I called them to me, um, they're gonna come to me and then they're gonna go like, uh, hey, wait a minute, bro. I gotta get back to camp and they're gonna run back to camp. Um, now, uh, chase is great, at, especially these lower levels, because since uh, I have the, um, you know, I'm in sick tank right now with uh, with the SK, um, I can go shad mode zero and uh, manual mode, and I can roam around and uh, just act like I would if I was just out here solo hunting, but my whole crew is chase assist on me. So as soon as I attack something, um, they're going to, they're going to start attacking stuff. Um, so let's let's kill the spider real quick. So I'm just gonna life tap the spider. I'm in manual mode. It's coming to me uh, I'm gonna turn on attack since I was in uh, was in manual mode, but as, as you can see the the group started doing their business and uh, They're all going ham And as soon as it dies I, I start running away the group is gonna continue following me because uh, I have chase on so with chase on I don't have to have the follow me button on um, but if I tag if I target anything, they're gonna start attacking it now currently. I usually keep my dudes set to assist at 100 um, You need to keep that in mind if you're running around in chase mode because if you're running around in chase mode You just target something if it's close enough that they would attack it, right? It's in that it's within that camp radius uh, Setting then they're going to attack it So you could be just roaming around and like oh look at that little skeleton right there And you click on the little skeleton then you start your dudes are gonna go run over and fight it And uh, maybe you didn't intend on doing that so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, let's talk about my other buttons. Okay, the other buttons that I use are are, are, are these uh, are these six right here. I don't use them all the time, um, usually for my main crew. So maybe we'll swap over to the main crew now. Um, in fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna swap over to the main crew. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. I got uh, I got one of my main crews on now. Um, and as you can see, we are in the frozen uh, tundra of Torment of Velius. Um, so the demands are a little bit different when we get this high level. Um, if I'm moving around, I want to make sure that I am, uh, you know, invis. So I have a group invis button here. And this just says, I could do this with a multi line, but for the purposes of showing the video here, you know, no parse, squelch, BCG, if, me class, short name, find bard, twist off, alt activate 3704, alt activate 231, and then if cleric, dismount. And so this is going to make my bard twist off. Uh, it's going to make him uh, cast a fresh silos and then uh, sonorous uh, clouding and uh, my cleric dismount. Um, I also have a pause button here. This is just everyone in the group BCGA MQP on. Now, if you notice, I have a chat with this name pause button and a regular pause button. I don't usually pause the chat with this name plugins, right? <clears throat> Um, the reason I have one is if I'm going to use mimic me to hail uh, a mob to zone in to something. So let's say I have a quest, I have a mission, and I need to say ready to the mob. Um, I'm going to pause everybody, the chat with this name, uh, pause, um, and maybe throw a regular pause too. Do the mimic me, target the mob. You know, let's say we're targeting that and we're going to say uh, hi. Right, and so my whole group is gonna say hi to the frosted mammoth, um, and uh, good to go. If I had the chat with this name class plugins not paused, any classes that do any buffing, like a cleric or the beast lord or any of the other classes, 
if they had uh, met a condition that they needed to buff somebody, they're going to be like, screw you or mimic me, I'm buffing somebody. So that's why I have those. I don't use those very often, um, which is why earlier I mentioned that in my camp on video, I have a chat with this name pause off just in case if I completely forgot that I paused them. That's a really shitty circumstance because, um, you know, you don't have to load the plugins. They're already loaded. So I'm used to just being, you know, going and doing stuff and not thinking about starting anything. Um, so if they're paused, I may start a fight and be like, what the hell is going on? Why am I dying? And then it's like, oh, I'm an idiot. I had them paused. Um, so I have that unpause on my, on my button here. But so for my, uh, for my, you know, my, my bigger crews that have uh, a little bit more, um, a little higher demands on stuff. What I usually do is I'll hit my pause button, my regular pause button. Um, that's going to do the MQP on, and then I hit my invis button here. Okay. And uh, if you notice, I started floating because I'm now invis. I target myself. You see the parentheses it just shows we're invis. Uh, I'm going to camp off, make sure everybody is not going to return back to where they are. And then I'm going to follow me. Now everybody should be following me and uh, I can get wherever, uh, to wherever I need to go. I'm going to move my dudes. Uh, I'm going to turn off, follow me. Okay. I'm going to camp here, camp on. Now I always just visually look and make sure if, if my regular dudes sit down, then I know we're good. If I have chat with this name class plugins paused on and I try to camp on and camp off and change their modes and all this stuff, they're going to get that message that, Hey, you're paused. You can't do anything, right? So you can't change modes or anything while paused. Um, so, uh, you know, figuring out what order things need to go in, uh, you'll start getting a little bit of a, a, a routine, but I can very quickly, um, get to a new position and get set up somewhere. So if you notice this time, instead of doing the, the follow me, I did the come to me. Since the come to me uses MQ2 nav, it dynamically updates as you go. And uh, my dudes are gonna, gonna run to me until they get to me, uh, which means if I'm, if I'm continuing to move, um, they should come. Uh, some reason my beast lord decided he didn't like life. Did he get stuck? What's he doing? Oh, something happened with uh, wherever he's at on the mesh, on the nav mesh, so he stopped. He's up running, uh, but he's there now. Anyway, so that's uh, that's basically how I move my groups around. It's really not that complicated uh, once you get some hotkeys made and you understand the idea behind it. But with, without it, it can feel pretty challenging. Okay, so some other hotkeys that I have. Um, I have a frenzied off button. Uh, since I run two berserkers, you know they do that frenzied resolve that roots them in place, and. Uh, if I'm, let's say I'm in uh, chase mode or I'm in, uh, I'm something where I want to like call them over to me. If I, you know, if I hit, hit my come to me button and they're, they're still over there and I can usually quickly check the, uh, if somebody's far away from me by looking at this thing. And, uh, you know, I can quickly see like, oh, somebody's red. That means they're far away. Uh, somebody's with me. Somebody's not with me. But um, if they're frenzied resolve, I can just click this button. This is just, you know, BCG if me, or just a no parse. Let me drag that larger. Uh, can I drag this larger even more? Yes. So uh, BCG if me, active disk name, find, frenzied resolve, discipline, and that should be equal, not find, uh, stop disk. So it means if, they're, if they have an active disk and its name is frenzied resolve, discipline, end it. Um, and that'll just make the uh, the Zerkers stop their frenzied resolve, and then they'll run over to me and uh, and be good to go. Um, I also have uh, the go to camp button. I've talked about this before. We still need to move this to be in for all of the plugins. Right now, it's just for um, it's just for Shadow Knight and Warrior. Um, but basically, once a camp is set, uh, right? So I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in manual mode right now. I can click this go to camp button, Shad go to camp, and I'm gonna run back to where my camp is set. Now, obviously if I'm in mode zero or another mode that does not have a camp set, there's nothing to run to, so I'm not gonna do that. But it's really handy for me uh, if I'm manually pulling and I'm being lazy, or let's say I just get lost, right? So let's say I'm walking around, uh, I'm trying to pull a mob and I'm in a dungeon and I'm in a maze or whatever, and uh, then uh, I get lost, I can hit that go to camp button and uh, I'll run right back to camp. Um, it's a it's a lot faster than like trying to right click on your on your uh, cleric or something and then run to, you know I can just hit that go to camp button, and I'm good to go. Um, 
I also have a reset camp button. Uh, this is just uh, for personal, uh, for my Shadow Knight, sh uh, Shad Reset. So if I hit this reset button, I'm now going to reset my camp uh, to here. As you can see that, camp updated uh, right to where I'm at. So now if I hit go to camp, I'm going to run over to this this crazy spot over here. Now the reason I have that is uh, is sometimes I may need to, I want to reposition while I'm fighting. Um, let's say uh, let's say wherever I'm at, the mob keeps on ending here, and I, I just want to quickly adjust where I'm at so when I pull and I come back to my spot, I'm in a different position to maybe position the mob a little bit better. This is just a quick way for me to adjust my spot without having to change modes or do anything, and I can do it while I'm fighting something. So if I need to back up a little bit and then I want to hit my reset camp button... Um, you know, next time I go to camp, I'm going to I'm gonna go back to that spot. So it just makes life a little easier um, to be able to reset camp where I'm at. <clears throat> so I've go to camp, uh, reset camp. I went over the regular pause, just the MQP on. Uh, MQP off is BCGA MQ pause off. Um, so that's the same as MQP off. Um, I also overloaded this with the chat with this name pause off. Because if I'm hitting MQP off, 100% of the time, I want the chat with this name class plugins to be unpaused as well. Um, and then return to camp here and uh, and camp here on. Uh, those are a little redundant, um, especially since I'm going to be using, you know, camp on and camp off and all that stuff. But it's just, you know, some stuff gets left from how I did things before and stuff evolves over time. You'll notice that uh, each time I go over these things, you know, some stuff has changed a little bit. And uh, I apologize if you can hear my cat meowing. My wife took the dog for a walk on her lunch break and the cat sits at the door and cries because she wants to go for a walk I guess so if you can hear that I apologize poor little cat um, so a couple other buttons I have I have a BCGA target clear now I keep my dudes with uh, switch with MA on um, so they're going to switch with MA Do I have that button anywhere uh, switch so this is just no parse BCG do command me class short name switch with MA on now um, issuing the slash command is going to change it in your INI file so it's going to stay that way right so it's going to stay switch with MA so my dudes are always switch with MA um, it used to be uh, we screwed something up in there so it didn't save it unless if you used um, uh, one or zero if you used on or off it didn't save it because we screwed something up, but uh, but it saves in there. So I don't have this as my key anymore. Um, so I don't I don't need to really do anything with them to clear their target. All I have to do as a tank is I just have to press escape to clear my target, and they will they will lose their target immediately. So if I'm running around um, like on Gricklor, I'm running around and uh, Gricklor, let's say he goes back up in the air, uh, I can press escape, and then I usually just target myself. And the reason I target myself is because if I end up getting another uh, another target, let's say something hits me and then now I'm targeting it, um, I just want to avoid that situation where my dudes are now fighting some mob that, that punched me. So I can just press escape, they're going to lose their target, and then I'm going to target myself. And uh, since I'm not a valid target for them to fight, they're not going to target me and start fighting. Um, so this target clear is not really needed. I don't really use this ever, but it's there. Uh, another button I have is just uh, BCGA slash door target, uh, BCGA click left door. I could do this as a multi-line, uh, but again, for the purposes of showing how hotkeys uh, function and stuff, it's a little bit more straightforward if I can just show you, you know, one line like, okay, I want everybody to door target, which is going to target the closest door. So let's say I am in um, uh, Tower of Frozen Shadows. I move all my dudes. Let's say this is the door. I move all my dudes to the door, right? So come to me or they're following me, move all to the door. I'm going to click that button and they're all going to target the door and then left click it and then go through the door. Um, <clears throat> stuff like that so people don't get left behind. Now, Tower of Frozen Shadows is a bad example because, you know, the leader clicks it and it drags the group through or whatever, but I still click this button for everybody to click through the door. That's just habit for me going through the thing. Um, I also have some other, like, you know, pet back off, like, stuff. This is unrelated to, to whatever, but... Pretty much uh, between these buttons and these buttons, this is kind of my you know command center, my sick command center. I can pretty much do everything uh, with these buttons here. And um, outside of that, I don't hit my hotkeys very much unless if I'm you know manually doing something for some reason. 
but that's pretty much it. Um, again, I get a lot of requests from, from people who are having issues with trying to move their dudes around and figure out how to swap modes and you know manage their team. I do have the resource, the six hotkeys, um, and I'll link it in I guess in this in this video. Um, it's got a bunch of different hotkeys in there for some a bunch of different examples. Now your your needs might be very different than mine. So, you know, uh, for example, your invis key. If you don't run a bard, if you run an enchanter or whatever, or you know maybe a mage, uh, it's going to be casting invis. You know your stuff's obviously going to be different. But this should give you an idea of how to kind of kind of set up your crew. But um, again, I can very quickly go from every you know everyone's everyone's camped here and, and ready to fight, and I need to uh, reposition very quickly. Pause on everybody, invis, uh, follow me. Everybody's following me. I'm gonna run somewhere real quick, check in my CQ. I got a I got a dude here, so I'm gonna unfollow me. I'm gonna camp on. Everybody sits. We're gonna MP off. I'm gonna make myself visible. I'm gonna target this guy. <clears throat> now, if you notice, um, I casted that uh, Asia to interrupt the stuck spell gem because I thought I was stuck since I was in sick tank mode and I manually casted the spell. But but if you notice, it, you know everybody just is uh, immediately going to fight and. Uh, we're just killing this little frosty boy real quick, and uh, and so that's kind of that's kind of that. This is just a new group. Um, my DPS isn't so great on uh, on this crew, uh, missing a lot of augs and AAs and gear and all that stuff. Like some of these dudes still have heroic stuff, but um, but yeah. Anyway, so very quickly I can get to the whacking and uh, and be fighting stuff and uh, doing good shit. Let's see, uh, camp off, come to me. So, okay, here's a great example, what I was talking about before, where my berserkers are frenzy resolved. So I'm gonna follow me, right? <clears throat> so they should be following me, uh, but they're stuck. So I click my frenzied resolve, boom, you can immediately see them start running over here because they clicked off their fren frenzied resolve and uh, I'm back in business, just like that, real easy. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna cut this video up and uh, I'm gonna put some uh, links to some hotkeys and all that good stuff and uh, you guys will be off to the races. So uh, again, always appreciate all the love and support and uh, uh, chat and I are, uh, yeah, we, we really appreciate you guys. So love you very much and uh, we will talk to you soon. Start that again, there we go.